God's great love leaves us <coughs> breathless with astonishment when we take the time to stop and think about it. Paul prayed that we would know what he admitted was far beyond our understanding. And that is the dimension of God's love. It includes everyone. It radiates with redeeming grace, which covers all of our shame and our guilt. And it shines with a dazzling glory, which fills our hearts with hope. Thankfully, Paul's prayer isn't a list of assignments for us to carry out. It's not a list of expectations to be. It is not a bunch of burdens for us to shoulder. The God that has been made known and real to us in Jesus Christ is not standing over us with a pen and a clipboard clicking off things one at a time. There is nothing in Paul's prayer that even hints of self-help or a self-improvement regimen. Prayer simply and compellingly invites us to realize how much God loves each of us. And as we eavesdrop on Paul's prayer, we're encouraged. No, we're actually commanded to experience that God is surrounding, encompassing, holding us with his love. And it promises that God will fill us when we're empty. He will make us strong when we are weak. He will keep us rooted and grounded when everything around us is changing. I would suggest that we all experience this prayer for ourselves. I invite you to take ownership of the prayer that Paul sent to the Ephesians. Why not ask God to thrill us again with a sense of His wonder and His majesty? Why not? Why not boldly pray for God to fill us again with His own life and His spirit? To renew us and to revive us. But most of all, why not plead that He will show us all that we are able to comprehend about the wide embrace of His divine love. Why not? Receive God's strength. Receive God's strength so that you can live faithfully and joyfully even during these challenging times when the earth seems to shake beneath us. Open yourself up to God's fullness so that your life can overflow with abundance and glory. Allow His light to shine through your life yes. when others can't find a candle. Yes. We have a vast, loving, powerful God who is at work inside each and every one of us. And He is able to accomplish abundantly far more than we can imagine or ask for. Nothing we can ask for is beyond God. To that very God be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus. As Paul said, through every generation, forever and ever. Amen.